devil ease up I see him trying to creep up I spit the Holy Ghost fire Make the demons freeze up He died on the cross So essentially freed us And from the dust like Lazarus I'm about to rise up While we walking through life We gotta pay attention to the signs The tricks and the traps of the devil Yeah we gotta keep in mind he knows our sickness yep. He used him against him with the quickness yep. Uh, yep. The flesh is deceitful so We gotta start acting Come more on. like God's people I'm Who will be the remnant? Me. Me. The gospel who will defend it? Me. Me. There's only one true and living God Okay y'all, so I'm on my way to work And I was like, let me pop on Because, well first I'm on my way to get gas And I'm on my way to work But I was like, let me pop on And um one of the videos I had promised was um, how I got a job, how I went about getting a job. And so um, I'm going to give you guys a quick overview of that. So the first thing that I say that you need to do when you're trying to get a job in another state is you need to network. You need to start networking well before you, um, well before you decide to actually relocate so when we started getting serious about wanting to move I um, I'm sorry I'm not looking at y'all because I'm driving anyways when we started getting serious about wanting to move um, we had narrowed it down to a couple of places and those places were Washington State Oregon and Colorado and so what I did was I started to get on an app, app called LinkedIn and it's like a social media platform for um, it's like a social media platform for um, I'm sorry my hair is like dropping it. It's like a social media platform for professionals. And so you can connect with people in your particular career field, or if you're looking to get in other career fields, you can do that as well. So what I did was whatever company. Well, I'm sorry. Let me go back. The first thing I did was. I tried to see if I could transfer with my current company um, and so the current company that I was working with did not have openings in Colorado but if you like where you work which I loved where I work that is your first line of defense so after I did that the second thing that I did was I got onto LinkedIn and what I did is I looked at specific companies that I would like to work for so prior to getting Prior to starting this networking process, I wrote down a list of 10 companies that I would love to work for. And then I wrote down another list of 10 companies that I would work for if I couldn't work for those other 10 companies. So once I did that, I went um, on to LinkedIn and I started to search out those particular companies. So what I would do is I would put the child, like for instance, one of the companies I want to work for was the children's place, right? So I put in the search box, the children's place, right? So I put in the search box, the children's place, and um, it'll bring up the actual company's page on LinkedIn. And so I would follow their page on LinkedIn because also what I would see on there was open is a lot of times on LinkedIn companies put their openings in particular um, like their openings in the company so I would search that and then when you went to their page what you would see was a lot of their um, employees would have them on their page so you would see like this person's a, a connection to the children's place or whatever and so I started to add people that was a part of that company. I tried to focus on like district managers, area managers, training managers, um, people who did the recruiting piece. I tried to focus on stuff like that, but I also got people that were just like store managers and things like that, right? So in the beginning stages, I did it for all three places. And so after I did that, I also used a tool called Indeed. So I love Indeed because one of the things that um, Indeed has that a lot of things don't have is that you can use your resume to actually apply. 
Now, a lot of times, if you get a response back from a company, you have to go back in and do their app, their physical application. But what I like about Indeed is you don't have to waste your time doing a 30-minute long application for every single um, company that you want to work for or position because it lets you apply with your Indeed resume and then if they're interested they'll they will seek you out and then you can actually do a application right so if they're not interested then what's the point of you filling this out right so it's a quick way to get laws of averages on your side because like one day I did like 40 applications right I got like 19 responses because I have a great resume so I got like 19 responses and I ended up only doing actually like seven or eight physical applications because what happens is a lot of companies will call you and they'll pre-screen you so you not only get to figure they not only get to figure out are you a good fit but you get to figure out if you want to work for them do they have the correct pay that you're looking for do they have the hours is it a uh, salary is it hourly um like do you have to work every single sunday like stuff like that so i was able to find out that type of information too and i didn't waste a whole lot of time so by networking on indeed what happened was i opened up i'm sorry on linkedin i opened up my acquisition to say currently looking to relocate and i put all the states and so when recruiters would reach out to me because a lot of recruiters use this tool i would tell them the reason why i was wanting to relocate and that i was open so what i learned is a lot of the recruiters or the area managers or the district managers they all service like Colorado, New Mexico, Washington, um, Arizona, and um, Oregon. Or they work very closely with the people who service the other parts. So one thing that I want to tell you guys is if you're looking to relocate and you don't know exactly where and you're looking at several places, try to make it places that's kind of bunched in the same area because when you start looking at like high up regionals, district managers and stuff like that, all of those people are going to be over the same area because companies do it by region and by um, you know what's near to each other. So that's another thing. Um, so anyways, back to Indeed. I used Indeed. That got me a lot of hits. I used Munster. I'm going to be honest with y'all. I don't really care for Munster. And I used Glassdoor. But I did not use Glassdoor to apply because they don't have a quick enough response time. And a lot of companies do not use Glassdoor because they don't like the fact that Glassdoor shows their, um, allows people to post their salaries on it. So what I would use Glassdoor for to see if they were even in my salary range, if it was worth even dealing with, right? So, um... Another thing that I did was once I would talk to a, a district manager or whatever, um, if they, I, I had a high, kind of a high expectation as far as pay goes, because I knew I was moving to a place where um, it was going to cost me a lot to live and I have a large family. So what I would do is I would tell them, I was very honest about my salary. Don't be unhonest about your salary because they're going to pay you what you ask for. So. Um, I would tell them, hey, you know, I'm looking for this salary. And if they would say, oh, I can't meet this in this particular store, then I would say, do you have a higher volume store? Because I know I can handle up to this much that you could possibly, you know, meet my salary um, expectations for. I was very, like, clear. Um, and, like, for instance, with one, with one company I interviewed with, I interviewed with the Colorado store in Colorado Springs, and it's a lot smaller and more cost efficient. So she couldn't pay me what I wanted. But she was really cool with the lady uh, that was over Oregon, the district manager over Oregon. So she was able to put me with her and I was able to interview with her and she could get closer to my salary. So really it's about making connections, right? You got to make sure that you make those connections on LinkedIn. You can't just add the people. You have to say hi, you know, make some type of effort to um, introduce yourself. So like... Um, I couldn't find the district manager for Colorado on a particular company I went to work for. But I found the one for, I want to say it was, I don't even know. I don't, I don't remember the state. But I reached out to them and I was like, hi, I'm looking to relocate to these places. Um, would you happen to be able to put me in contact or give me the name of the district manager for this area so that I can apply, right? You got to get out there. So um, one thing that I, I want you to really use Indeed for is um when you go on to indeed you can put like for instance i'm a retail store manager so i put retail store manager in the place i just put colorado 
and because I knew what different areas I want to go to but I also want to see what else is out there and so one thing I want to let y'all know is one thing to really pay attention on indeed about is how much job opportunity does this area have so that's the reason why I we didn't go with Oregon at all because Oregon didn't have a whole bunch of job opportunity right so Colorado and Washington State had a really good um, job opportunity and it was just I wanted to come to Colorado said so I did but when you go and start looking on indeed pay attention to the job opportunity in your particular industry because if it's not on indeed they don't have jobs for you because every company uses indeed right so make sure you do that um, and then I kept an updated resume now Whenever I couldn't find, if I had a particular company that I couldn't find an opening for, but I wanted to work for a company, then I would go on to like H&M. They weren't on Indeed, but they had plenty of openings. So I went on to H&M.com and I did an application. And when you go to do applications on websites, a lot of websites have it to where you can do multiple applications at once or you can use that same application for multiple job requisitions. So what I did was I applied to every job that I wanted to apply to in Oregon Washington and Colorado with the same application so what I'm recommending is when you get on a website you take full if you have to take time doing that assessment and filling out the application you go crazy do every application and every position that you want to do I did that on like 14 uh, websites I'm not joking if a district manager asked me to go and do a physical application I did her application and I did every other application I want to do there with the same application because if you're already on there you might as well laws of averages right so this finding the job game is all about laws of averages you have to fill out as many applications and have an updated resume and be able to talk through your resume when you are interviewing okay so those are all the things that I did and I'm gonna tell you one other thing I did and people probably gonna be like oh my god I did not turn any offers down until I had all the offers in uh, this is gonna sound really bad but when you're relocating you have to do the best thing you have to do what's best for your family I had one company that gave me an offer they didn't offer me any relocation and the company that I went with offered me relocation and I backed out of their offer seven days before it was time to come because the relocation was better for my family you're going to a whole nother place you gotta do what's best for you I sent them a note you know whatever whatever and not to mention they were super unprofessional too so I didn't really care to work for them but you gotta do what's best for you so keep that in mind make sure you start networking well before because the other part to that is when I got out here I felt things were kind of shaky with my job and it ended up working out but I had plenty of people that I could reach out to and say hey uh, we previously interviewed you know blah 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 and I'm here now and whatever because now that I'm here you don't have to relocate me you don't have to wait for me to get here you don't have to do all of these different logistics to moving so they're even more excited about that right so make sure you make those connections because if you get there and then you don't have a job or you don't like your job or it just doesn't turn out to be a good fit you have other people that you've already networked with and you can go ahead and reach out to them also like I said if you like your current job but they don't have any openings make sure you still make the effort to make that connection with your um, DM which are with your company that you're with DM in the state you want to move to because like I know my DM from my last company I've called her we've talked blah 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 if anything happens I have plenty of references and she will hire me without a doubt right so you have to make sure that you make those connections that's very important networking is key in this situation okay anyways I gotta get this gas and get my butt to work I hope you guys enjoy don't forget to like comment subscribe um, tell a friend, share on your Facebook page. You can reach out to me on Facebook at Coco Shaki. That's capital C, lowercase o, capital C, lowercase o. Shaki is P S H A apostrophe K E Y. Okay, y'all. So I watched back the How to Get a Job um, in Another State or Colorado video, and I really thought that I left out some things I was going to post it today, but. One of the things that I left out is that, um, you know, how my interviewing processes went. Because I never actually had to come to Colorado to interview. Um, 
And so I wanted to let you guys know how to get around that. So basically what I did was I would do the phone screenings and then I would go through all of the interviewing process, but I would make sure, like I was very upfront about my process. Like when I was able to leave, you know, like it's just my soonest date that I would be able to get there. And, um, you know, that I was relocating the family of six because let's be honest, like if they're not willing to work with it, when you start doing it, they're not going to be willing to work with it anyways, you know? So, um, I did a lot of, for instance, I interviewed with this uh, particular company and she knew the DM in Houston, even though I was in Beaumont, Houston was like an hour and a half away. So I was able to have an in-person interview with that DM in Houston rather than having an interview with um having to go to Colorado and interview right and then I did um an interview on um I guess it's like Skype it's kind of like a Skype interview I guess where we sat in front of the computer and um we talked and we could see each other so I did a lot of that kind of stuff so if you're specifically coming to Colorado a lot of that is going to be available to you because the Denver market in the past few years has just now started to grow so before they didn't have like um, a saturated market um, where there was four and five of things in one market so a lot of the DMs aren't actually living here in Colorado so they 